Yo, what is up guys? It is Soda here, and uh, welcome to a possible coin making strategy. Um, so earlier, I was just pulling packs, I was doing some solo challenges earlier, and I think I came out with a way that you can actually safely make coins in Madden 15 Ultimate Team. Um, I don't know, not necessarily all the time, but a good percentage of the time. And uh, what you want to do here is you just want to browse the store, find pro packs, and get pro packs with coins. There is so much in pro packs right now. It's crazy. Um, it's, of course, the regular elites you can get. There's um, Road to the Playoff elites. There's all that stuff. But now, the rising star Luke Wilson just came out, and his um, 80 overall is going to be selling for at least 10,000. So that could make the coin stack for a pack. I pulled two. Uh, team of the year collectibles in packs and um that's good and then there's also a chance that you're getting a team of the year player and um i think it's just a decent way to make coins and we have a final card gold or elite it's a gold and this is a jared johnson so this is not really a um good example unless one of these are actually a rare silver and i don't know about it which is certainly possible but um who knows, this was not a good example, but I've noted that every four packs or so, I have been pulling a Team of the Year Elite card, and um, that's, I guess, what I'm going to be doing. I mean, not Team of the Year Elite player, but a collectible every four packs, I guess is what I want to say. And even after you get your gold or better in the pack, it does not mean that the pack is over, because you can still get the Black Flash and still get that lucky, the lucky pull, so... I'm going to be pulling two more packs here, hopefully showing you guys a little bit of something. Let's say I get a Team of the Year here, um, a Team of the Year whatever collectible here. That makes it back, and you have to be kidding me. This is an example of how you can make your coins back by getting a Team of the Week Elite. Ha ha, Clinton Dix. Let's go. Um, I don't even know how to react to that. That was, this is a very good card. And for my scheme, it's even better because of its 83 catching. It's just overall a very good card. 93 speed. Um, if I remember, its coverage is also pretty good too. It's not like the best coverage in the world, but still pretty good. Yeah, 91 zone, 79 man. So certainly above average in the coverage statistics, but still not the best. We got a Kai four bath. Does he go in a set? Because kickers go for a lot if they go into sets. Oh uh, wow, punch it too. I need to go into sets, but if they did, that would mean something. And Brian Hoyer is actually a really rare silver too. Oh my God! Wow. I actually need this to finish the set, but I'm just gonna auction him because earlier when I was looking for it, I just saw only one of them, and it was like for 20k. So I could, I probably made. I think Clinton Dix. I was looking at him earlier today. That goes for 100k. This goes for like maybe 15k. I could sell it for. So um, yeah. So, um, anyways, so, I'm not exactly sure how to react to that, but this, like I said, is a possible coin-making strategy. Um, I pulled the HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix, um, who, like I said, I think he goes to around 80 to 100k, and then Brian Hoyer, who is also a very rare silver. Uh, let me show you now by just looking the two of them up, and, um... Just show you guys what I mean. I mean, this is not the point, but like I said, you can get rare things like this happening, and you can really make coins back. So I'm going to show you here by just going free safety, quality, uh, 94, uh, team, and all I should do is here, have to go to Packers, and that should get it. They're not Patriots. <laughs> uh, I meant Packers. Oops. So here we go. I will find the haha -ha Clinton Dix here, who I guess goes for a little less than I thought. Actually, it does go for a lot less than I thought, but um, I can either keep him and have him start as my free safety, or I can um, obviously sell him and get a lot of coins for him, which is going to be very good uh, for me and making coins. So that's, let's say, about 60k if I was to sell him. That's how much I'd be putting him up for. I would be putting him up for 60k. And also, let us find the Cleveland Browns. Why can I not find them? There they are. Um, not looking. 
Titan, but I am looking for 70, 79, quarter. Okay, so, uh, there's gonna be, yeah, there's Johnny Mantel there, too. Um, who for some reason has a signature edition card. I never even realized that. Oh, my. But as you can see, Brian Hoyer, the only one on the market, the only one on the market, goes for 16,500 coins. So, that's exactly what I'm talking about. With You can make lots of coins by doing this. Uh, I think I'll put up Hoyer for 14,000, just because it's not one of those, like, desirable things. It's not like you get the, um, best rewards in the world for it, and, um, yeah. So, uh, I think you said, I mean, I could finish this set and get two badges, but instead I think I'll just put him up for eight hours, and who knows, I'll put this up for maybe 12,000, 14,000, um, and I should be able to, and he should be able to sell, that's the best part, you know? Uh, he should be able to sell... Even at this high of a price, uh, that works for me, 11750 and uh, I will see what I will do about HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix later, um, compare him actually against Eric Reed, and yeah, Clinton Dix is obviously better than Reed, just by, I don't even really have to look at much more, oh uh, wow, Dix has actually 92 hit power, and um, yeah, that's actually pretty good, I really like this card, whoa, um, but I can't sell Eric Reed if I wanted to do that. So, who knows what I'm going to do now. Um, let's also compare him to my Rashad Johnson, who Clinton Dix is way better. And then Charles Woodson, who again, Clinton Dix is way better. And why not just go to uh, Free Safety Calvin? Um, yeah, so this is just for the fun stuff. And obviously, there is a huge difference here. Clinton Dix is my best Free Safety on my team, and it's not even close. But, um, yeah, hopefully when all this stuff stells... I can tell you guys how it went, and hopefully you guys do learn from this. Being a coin-making strategy, at least for right now, who knows about um, maybe a week from now, but right now I am recording this on the 22nd, I believe. Um, yeah, it is Thursday, January 22nd, and this video will be up 22nd. Um, just show you guys how good of a strategy this can be. Um, Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This is fun for you to make. Hopefully, it was just as fun for you to watch. Anyways, this is Soda.